In this video today, I'm going to be talking about and reviewing Julia De Curno's 2021 film, Titan. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam, I hope you're doing really well. And on this channel, I like to talk about all things film, Blu-ray and physical media collecting. So today we're gonna to be talking about Julia De Curno's sophomore feature film, Titan. Uh, came out last year, I believe sort of, it was on the festival circuit sort of in the summer and then it was released in select theatres around the country in like November time. I didn't manage to get out and see it. It wasn't showing anywhere near where I live. So I've been eagerly anticipating some sort of physical media release of this film. And I watched it last night. So the film was very fresh in my mind. And just off straight off the bat, that I think this film is absolutely incredible and probably my favorite film that came out in 2021. Although I am very, very behind on uh, watching uh, sort of new releases that came out in the last year. But as of now, this is the best film that I saw that came out in 2021. So Julie de Kernel sort of uh, came into uh, the public eye with her very, very strong debut feature, Raw, uh, which chronicled the sort of coming of age of a young woman who is a vegetarian, goes to veterinary school, and it turns out that she has an appetite for human flesh. The film is very sort of body horror-esque in the vein of, say, David Cronenberg, who's probably the master of that subgenre of horror, in my opinion. But the film has a lot more to say than the surface level shock and gore that, it, that, is, that is presented and to grab your attention. Um, the Raw was very much about family and sisterhood and coming of age. And Titan very much follows in that vein of identity and family and love but it just delves a bit deeper uh, in the well of sort of uh, of body horror and insanity to be honest the film is very interesting and bizarre and you can't really apply too much logic to some of the scenes that play out in this in this film because you can't but that's not the point it's more of the emotional connection you may or may not have to uh, our lead actress who is uh, Agathe Roussel who plays Alexia and she is a sort of a exotic car model um, she also suffered a a car accident when she was a child and has a titanium plate uh, sort of fused to her skull which is where the, the film gets its name from it follows her as she is a, a sort of a young adult and trying to find some sort of peace about who she is, where she comes from, finding a family that sort of she connects with. And it's, it's, a, it's a very extreme in places, a very uncomfortable, very sad. I, in places, found this film quite funny. I have not seen too many other reviewers or written or on YouTube in video form mention how darkly humorous this is in places. It is very sporadic throughout the film, but I found myself chuckling. I don't know whether it was because I was so uncomfortable. I felt I had to laugh to just mask my, my how uncomfortable I was. But nevertheless, I did find elements of this film to have a very, very dark humor. The film has very similar themes to Julia de Kernel's uh, Raw, which came out in 2016, which I think it is one of the best debut features of, of especially in the horror genre in in recent years and Julia de Kernel is revisiting some of the themes as a lot of great directors actually do they tend to revisit themes that they they've tackled before but from a different lens or they dig further down um, to try and uncover some truth about what it is they're trying to ask questions about and as I said Titan I keep trying to say t Titan but the, the actual pronunciation of this film is Titan um, is very much about love and identity. There's a lot of uh, sort of gender um, ideas about gender fluidity in the film and femininity and masculinity and growing old and the body de like decomposing over, uh, as you get older. It's not what it once was when you were young. And um, yeah, there's this film I feel on a rewatch will get even better personally um, and I really can't wait to see what Julia de Kernel does 
in the future moving forward because she's hit it out of the park with Raw and while Raw may be a bit more streamlined in its message and in its storytelling uh, where Tatan has very tonally shifts quite a bit in places which isn't a detriment to the to the film it's just it, it can take a few more watches I at least on my part to try and unpack some of the messages that may or may not be trying to be communicated by the director here as so I said Raw is more pure in that sense in its storytelling whereas Titan is a very much more of a uh, asking more questions than giving answers so I would give this film a strong very strong four and a half out of five um, potentially a five out of five on a rewatch I think this is an absolute near on masterpiece um, why I haven't given it five stars is because um, the the intensity of the film sort of tapers slightly in the sort of the second half of the second act I felt not that this film wasn't riveting from start to finish but I was I came out of the film at a couple of points because I was thinking where's this going um, and I was maybe expecting some explanations to some of the questions that the film was asking me as a viewer but the film doesn't necessarily answer these things it's a little bit ambiguous a little bit ambiguous I'll leave that one in for free it's a little bit ambiguous which I quite like um, and yeah this film is very much in the vein of David Cronenberg so if you like any of David Cronenberg's films particularly Crash which I saw for the first time in 2020 and it was my favorite film that I discovered that year um, I'm a huge David Cronenberg fan so if you like that body horror sort of the melding of technology and the human the human form and also asking questions about sort of humanity and what it means to be human then I think you'll get a lot of t out of Titan but with a very strong sort of warning that the content in this film is extreme in places i even had to look through my fingers in some of the scenes and i don't get grossed out or sort of squeamish about it very much i'm very well versed in horror and of all different types and there were some very real um troubling and challenging moments in this film but i like that it, it made me feel that way um so yeah, I, I highly recommend Titan if what you heard me say about this film is something you're interested in or you've been on the fence whether you want to see it or not because it did win the Palm Door. Titan, absolutely amazing. Just a few notes on this disc. Um, it's from a company who I've never bought anything from before. It's Neon. I don't think that's going to show up on the, on the screen there, but uh, Neon, I had to import this from the States. Well, actually, no, I bought it from a UK seller who had imported it from the states and i got it for a really really good price it has only one bonus feature but it is a really good one it's um a q a at the new york film festival with the director and two the two lead two lead uh, actors in the film and it's very enlightening and it was interesting to learn that agathe rousseau roussel sorry who plays alexia in the film it was her first ever acting role which is insane to me because it's probably one of the best performances of last year and in fact in recent years that I've seen it's very physical very emotionally draining I can imagine on her part um, and um, yeah big round of applause to her for her performance because it she really needed to sell what she was going through in the film to it for it to work and in, in, for my money it did that was my thoughts on Titan without spoiling anything I hope so if you've seen the film let me know what you think in the comments below and um, until next time, everybody, take care.